Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? It's Dakota Fishman here, and today I've got a solo target for you that we're going to completely solo out. He's got 2.2 million troops. We're going to wipe this out completely from beginning to end. Now, I hope you guys enjoy this because <laughs> I have a lot of fun. Uh, now, th again, this guy's 289 million might. You can get online at any time, I, I can tell you right now. We're going to go ahead and give it our best go. Now, the first thing I like to do is I like to test the front line first. So I try to knock the wall down. Now, obviously, this makes it a little slower. I do waste some tier 2 doing this, right? But here's my opinion on this, okay? I could do this test in one of three ways. If he had an anti-scout, I could send a thousand troops and punch him a couple of times and then see which might difference has the most loss. And that, that'll tell me the front line. The next thing I could try, if he isn't anti-scouted, is I could just hit him a couple of times until I see a front line. In this case, he doesn't have an anti scout, so he's an easy target. All I gotta do is scout, see what he's got. Now, this first hit, you can see I didn't puncture the wall. Uh, so I was like, oh, bummer. So, like, you can see here, he's only got 500k life, so I gotta go one more time to go ahead and punch that wall down. Again, it's something that, you know, it's, sometimes it hurts, sometimes it's not. You can tell this isn't so bad. It's only 12 mil. Okay, that's all right. That's not so bad. But that's only for the siege, right? So 45k siege is like 12 mil. That's a little on the pricey side, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take the full blunt of it. So I'll go ahead, you know, bring in a little bit of resources here, because obviously this is gonna be a little on the pricey side. Always is when you're trying to solo somebody that is 2 million plus. But here's the thing. We're gonna go all the way, and we're gonna keep going. Because truth is, you can't stop, won't stop, if you're gonna hit somebody, you go all the way. Make sure not to use your leader, though. You don't want to make that mistake. Now here, I'm sitting here, kind of trying to decide what kind of, what what do I want to send? You know, do I want to send my siege? You know, I'm I'm trying to put that together as I'm going along. But here's what I can tell you: dropping the HP down by 40% across, getting that Pyrus bonus on the start of the attack is almost an absolute must. Next thing I want to do is I just want to throw some disposable troops. In my case, tier two is disposable. I can be a griffin trap at any point I want, so it doesn't bother me at all to kill some tier two. It really doesn't. And I can use it to rally trap just as easy. I've got tons and tons of speed ups and gems sitting in my account. It's not going to bother me none to like go ahead and lose a couple hundred K tier two just to solo somebody out this big, especially for you guys, because I always find it fun. Now here we can finally see what his front line is. We know for a fact he's an infantry. Now this is where, basically at this point, if we know he's an infantry, we can smack him in cavalry and we're gonna get a really good return on our losses here. So we're already up in the upwards of 20 million plus and resources that I've already had to plug away at this guy. But remember, this guy has 1.2, like, man, he's got like almost 2 billion, I think, if I'm not mistaken. He's got a lot of timber, okay? So the stakes are high here. This guy is a bank. All right, this is the kind of guy that if I'm going to get him and I'm going to clear him out, I'm going to make big bang bonuses by getting this guy zeroed out, okay? Now, I, I can tell you the benefit of doing it this way as opposed to rallying him is literally nobody in his guild knows what's going down. Nobody. And even though you can see some guys going around sending resource tiles, they're not paying attention. They just go, eh, who cares? We burn him. First stick, 400k dead red. Now, it isn't lo you know, a loss that I'm proud of, because look at that, 66,000 dead tier four. But that is the first front line, completely gone and knocked out. At this point, everything I kill will die. And because it's mostly tier four from this point, it ain't gonna be pretty. And this is the point and I'm trying to get across to you guys, is that I've seen a lot of you guys out there, you guys are hitting like a million tier four, you know, and you're trying to get through it and it's tough. I totally understand. But when you get guys like this who aren't that big and they've only got maybe three to 400K, you can see just here for yourself how easy it is to go through and pierce a march like that. Now I swapped out to range phalanx, hoping that that would cover my cab a little bit because they're in the back using that four troop manipulation to kind of get a benefit there. But as you can tell, there's another 100K and a 50K red dead on that. So at this point, all that I'm running into now is cab. Now you can see I've got 306,000 tier four cab there. That's a 90 million plus heal that I've got to pop now. And again, that's a lot of attrition to be paying for. It really isn't cheap. Honestly, if I could avoid it, I would. But these are things that, like, 
I, I, I don't show you this often, and I figured, you know what, might as well just show you the heal costs, okay? To give you an idea how expensive it is actually to solo one of these guys out on your own, okay? But I always like to show it to you guys because I don't see many people on YouTube doing it. I really don't. Now, having that said, this hit here, <laughs> this, this is why I solo people at 2.2 to 4 mil. This is why. 700k red deads just like that 158,000 dead tier 4 drakes right there and of course we're gonna look at the reports at the end of this video so don't don't worry all right now here comes again another march we're just gonna speed this one up we're not even gonna waste any time wearing war gear we're just gonna travel speed gear and hit this guy as fast as we can because we want to clear him out so there's another 386,000 dead he is down to 253 million might I'm going to speed this up a little bit for you, but basically, at this point, I've already wiped him out. I have 1.7 billion timber now by basically wiping him out out of all of his resources. Now, because of that, all right, that is pretty much the biggest payday I've had on this channel in a while, okay? I've wiped out a lot of accounts in my day in this kingdom, but that's probably the most I've wiped out in a long time. Now, of course... You know, when you're trying to do this on your own, guys, it's it's tough. It's risky. There's a lot of different factors involved. I could just as easily lose to a garrison. I could lose to reinforcements. I could lose to all these different factors. But I get lucky most of the time in this kingdom because people just don't pay attention. You can see I've got the scoundrel title, though. They know who I am. They know what's going down. And they're never too happy with me in this kingdom. They never have been. But first hit, as you can tell, I lost 150k reds. But as you can tell, 2.2 million is what he started out with. He is now at 253 million might. He was at 289 million at the start of this video. That means he at least lost 20 million in true might. Now, it may not seem big, but again, I'm going to show you. Because so here, you know, as we knock the walls down, all right, this is that first cav hit that came through. And so here you can see where Turbo Charge is bonusing those squad attack bonuses, which helps out with the heroes that I've got on the sides. But then I've also got the 100% cab bonus from Movie Prize coming from, you know, as you all know, uh, Goblin, if you max him out, has a good chunk. I'm a pretty good cab player. Cav damage wise, I'm pushing as high as stats as that I can go. Like I'm pushing pretty darn high. I'm not 800% high, but I'm like five, six hundred percent in that area high. Okay, which is decent enough to do enough damage to really wipe players like these out with a breeze. And I really think anybody can pull this kind of stuff off with a little bit of time invested. You know, it's not something that... It takes time and a little bit of practice and a little bit of resource cost up, up front. But once you get through it, the payday on it is amazing. Okay, so, you know, again, 40% drops are really, really useful. I really recommend getting, like, Terrathorn, Magma Lord, and... Jazik for this reason because that's super fun to wipe that front line out like that it is so much fun now of course that second hit you know as you guys all remember you know that that second hit is still my favorite of the bunch but even here like <clears throat> you know I, I I just can't help but point out you know like when you knock that wall down you know you can see how in infantry phalanx you can see how what units are in front then the sides and then the back you got to remember that you know, if you want to hide your troops and you want to keep them alive, throw some siege in the back. You can see I've got some siege back there. I do that because if you put in like a loose, like a, about a thousand siege, you know, you don't need very much siege, just a thousand. It'll keep your leader from getting capped should you decide to use it. Now, I've, at this point, when somebody gets to about two million, I'm not afraid to solo. I'm really not. I, I've really not had too many problems with people that are offline, not in war gear. Like, even in war gear sometimes, I've really never had too much trouble clearing out a front line like this. Especially if I'm in counter. It's, it makes it easy as... Well, it just is. It's just really easy to wipe through front lines like these. And because the guy's offline, it makes it even easier. Uh, but even still, you know, it, it just goes to show how much of a difference it makes. Now, of course, uh, one thing I will point out, though, is that 700k Red Dead hit that I got off a single solo right? I, I might remind you, I do have Blackwing, okay? <laughs> and although it, it is worth mentioning, Blackwing is expensive to get, okay? But if you have Blackwing, 
Oh my god! <laughs> you know, the things that you can do with a familiar like that, it's insane. So, like, there, that that was a lot of red dead in one hit. Like, that's an insane amount. And obviously, you know, the 386k here, you know, it's just remaining tier 4 range, you know? That's 274k red dead that this guy won't ever have. It's all gone. You know, like, it's, it's Zippo. There's nothing more. But, uh... You know, again, uh, if any of you guys want to help out the channel, become a member, uh, check out my other videos, and of course, thank you for dropping by.